Well, I think the change in the outlook for rates is a structural one and a very positive one, I think, for the economy, certainly for financial institutions like ours. On the other hand, as you said, we're facing a discussion currently uh, uh, about a potential tax, which I think goes in the wrong uh, direction indeed. In terms of the negotiations with the, 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 the Spanish government, I, I presume you're having the same conversation with them that the British banks are having with the British government in terms of, look, don't push things too far on the taxation front because we're on a, a teetering situation in Europe. We've got higher energy costs, we've got great inflation, we've got household budgets that are under pressure. That, in turn, is affecting the net interest income of banks such as yourself. Does uh, Pedro Sanchez's government understand all this, sir? Well, the messages that uh, we're giving about this uh, proposed tax is, is that it is unfair, first of all, because uh, Spanish banks are not having particularly high profits. Our return on equity for the last 12 months for banks operating in Spain is 5.37%, 5.37%. All Spanish banks are tra trading well below book. That gives you an indication that actual high profits are just uh, not here. So the presumption on which all this is based is, is just wrong. Uh, second, uh, I believe it is uh, a distortion to competition because there are certain institutions that are going to be subject to the tax. Foreign institutions that are competing in Spain will not. Um, uh, some of the uh, shadow banking is also competing in this space and will not be there. So it's, uh, it's actually against the level playing field. It's against uh, EU uh, regulations, which actually EBA, the European Banking Agency, forces banks to incorporate all costs when pricing new credit. And the proposed law is actually prohibiting banks to in in include these costs in, in the way they calculate credit. And finally, most importantly, it's counterproductive. I think at this stage, as you said, we need a strong banking sector. We're potentially going into a difficult economic uh, situation. We all know in a crisis when the banking sector is strong, it can actually help families and companies to alleviate the impact of, uh, of that crisis. When it is weak, it becomes part of the problem. So I think it's, the, it's just counterproductive at this stage.